The word Karen has gone from a typical name to a phrase for white entitlement. CBS 4's Jeremiah Wilcox digs deep into how language evolves with time. They're the videos that often go viral on social media. White women either calling the cops or asking to speak to the manager. He's recording me and threatening myself and my dog. There has been so many incidents on social media, these women have now earned the name Karen. Calling out especially like a type of person who will behave in a, like a condescending way. Rene Cabrera is working to get his master's and is a part of the Linguistic Society of America. He says to be a Karen, there are certain criteria. Usually this image right, will, will show uh, a person, right, like a, a woman, right, uh, with a certain kind of haircut, uh, usually demanding to speak with a manager. He attended the American Dialect Society meeting last year where they nominated Karen as word of the year. They defined the term as a stereotype of a complaining, self-important white woman, typically a member of Generation X. This name is being used, um, you know, just to, to call out some actions or some you know, problematic behaviors. Catherine Christofferson is an assistant professor of applied linguistics and explains how language evolves. So it usually starts with a specific example, and then by extension, other people will say, oh, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. I know this other Karen, right? So they use that that example and then generalize. As language continues to evolve, Cabrera believes Karen will be here for a while. I still see it happening in 10 years. In Harlingen with Complete Valley coverage, Jeremiah Wilcox, CBS4, Valley News at 6. Other words nominated last year were OK Boomer and Cancel.